Hi there and welcome along to InDesign Tutorials. Today we're going to be making an interactive PDF and we're going to be making an interactive portfolio, something that might be suitable for you to post online or out to prospective clients and uh, employers and such. So I've just created a document here so I'm assuming a, some InDesign knowledge before we begin and I'm just going to show you my document as it stands. I have a number of pages here and I'll just break them down. Firstly, I have some master page items, some content if you like. I've got my name of my folio, a website address, my logo, personal logo, and three sections that I'll be building today. Also have uh, an email, a contact address, and some social media icons. And all of these things can be linked in and uh, linked to your particular addresses so it's a very very handy thing to be able to do so there's my master page items and as I know everything on my master page will appear right across my document okay so just moving forward the first page of my document which is the splash page it's going to be a brief introduction about me and uh, the uh, wonderful things that I do I've got a little explanation and a brief bio. So this is the kind of thing you might have on a splash page. I have three sections, as you can see, design, illustration, and photography. And I'm going to click down through my pages palette and clicking to my next page. And I have design. That's my first section. And within design, the section of design, I have two other pages. So I actually have three pages of design. I'm going to come further down and I have a second section called illustration and that will be clicking on my pages palette to navigate through that section. So I've got three pages of illustration and thirdly I have three pages in the photography section and all the master page has been applied to all of those sections. So just if you're not clear about that just go ahead and uh, check some online tutorials about master page items okay so what we're going to do is turn these graphics here text boxes in this instance and I'm going to convert them into buttons so I can do that by right clicking with my mouse and find the interactive menu and convert to button and that's probably the quickest way to do that that will then allow me to convert to a button Okay, so that's a nice thing to be able to do. That's simply the button creation. Okay, uh, while we're creating a button here, I can also, I'll come back to these uh, actions and events in a moment. Um, but I'm going to create a rollover when I click this button. I'm going to create a rollover appearance and just changing the opacity just a little bit down, like such, like so, a little bit like that. I'll have a bit of visual feedback. So whenever I click on this button, my button will roll over. So that's creating a button. And we can create a button out of virtually anything on screen. It could be a piece of text, a logo, or an image. All will work. Okay, so I'm going to create a button out of this fellow as well. And I'm going to interactive, convert to button. And I'm going to create a rollover state as well there. I'm just going to work that down. Obviously, you'll want to make sure that both of your rollovers all look the same. Again, interactive, convert to button, there she goes, rollover state, opacity down somewhat, like that, that's good. So there's my rollovers. Now, they're not working to do anything at this moment because I haven't actually linked them up to anything. And that's the next thing that we do here. So I could, with my buttons selected here, I can click or release or tap, but I'm just going to go with click. That seems to work pretty well. Now it's going to ask me for an action or what to do once the event has happened or the click has happened. And I'm going to come back to this in a minute because normally, in many instances, you might go to the next page. First page, last page, next page, previous page. And these two options are particularly good if you're wanting to have a navigation in a linear fashion. But what I'm attempting to do here is to create a set of navigation that will allow me to click from one part of my website or my folio to another part of my folio, much like a website. So to do that, I need to come back to my pages palette, 
and I'm just going to double click in here and I'm back to my introduction page now I need to create something special here I need to create what we call a bookmark and I can find that in my interactive menu dropping from window and I'm looking for bookmarks and this is the facility that will allow me to jump around within my document and with my first page active or my intro I'm going to click this new icon at the bottom and I'm going to call that home just that's going to be my home page I'm double clicking onto my first design page and with my bookmarks palette open I'm going to click into here I'm going to call that design and that's my next page I don't want to create bookmarks for every single page merely the sections so I'm going to come from my first section of the next uh, or the first page of the next section which is illustration I'm going to create a bookmark here Oops, I have spelled that right straight sorry about that spelling's not my best thing illustration that's very good so I don't need to create bookmarks for every page merely the first page of a section that's what I'm trying to do so I'm going to click on to my next section which is photography and create new bookmark and that is photography like such okay now I've got uh, um, bookmarks for each of these uh, sections and if you have done this correctly you will have your bookmarks palette open and you can navigate through your document with those um, with those uh, bookmarks by clicking on those bookmarks okay that's very good okay next thing we need to do is tell our buttons what to do basically so we're going to go and find our master page and we're going to select these buttons that we've created a bit earlier and we're going to click our button here and we're looking for interactive menu active buttons there we go now I have a name of this button I'm going to leave it at 10 on click the action that I wish to uh, happen is to go to destination that is the that is the one we need destination this will bring up a further dialog box down here and the destination that we see here are all the books marks that we've created so now obviously by pressing design I want to go to design and that's just fine so I don't need to change that I'm clicking on this on clicking the action will go to a destination and in this instance I want to click to go to illustration okay so that's working nicely photography on click the action that I require will be go to destination and I'm going to ensure that that's photography and I'm checking again very very easy to uh, make mistakes here it's always a good idea to check and check again with web and anything to do with interactivity and buttons now I'm going to link up my logo interactive I'm going to convert that to a button and I'm going to click and I'm going to require the action or the destination I beg your pardon we'll go to home so that's that so let's see how that works home will take me home design and illustration so let's uh, export this or preview this so we're gonna save that now and file we're going to export the PDF we'll just have a look and see how we're going so it looks pretty good interactive PDF is what I require down in the format I'm going to say open that up replace that one earlier and we're going to view it after exporting so let's have a look at that and I'm um, just a small resolution or low resolution I, I believe will be fine um, let's see how we go exporting the PDF and here we go there's our PDF and it appears to be functioning well the buttons are working and the logo is working as a button as well so there is your interactive PDF um, and that seems to be working just fine for me okay all right 
Um, next thing we could do here is we could create buttons that will link us within the site. So I have already created a couple of buttons down here on my design to take me through to pages two and three of my section. So we're going to do this a little bit differently. And again, with the buttons on click, and this time the action will go to, well, this will, the first page obviously will go nowhere. The second button, which is going to on click, will go to will go to the next page. So the next page, like so. Okay, this one may not be required at all at the first one. Okay, so I'm going to copy that button, come to my second page of my design of my uh, design section, and edit paste in place. Again, clicking the button on click that the action is going to go to next page. Okay, so I could copy that. Maybe I might duplicate that there. I might flip him over. And just if you like to navigate backwards, that button then can remove this action. Okay, and I'm going to on click go to the previous page, like so, and then that's my second page done. Third page, there we go, and I'm going to edit, paste in place. So this again, he'll once you get to the end of this section, he'll want to go to the previous page. Okay, so we're navigating in and out of our section, um, forwards and backwards, and so forth. And that, that, that aspect can be repeated um, right throughout your document. So let's just preview that. See how we go. Um, I'm going to place that. I'm going to say OK. In my documents, so I can go to design and I have the ability to toggle through my document. Okay, so look, I hope that's worked for you. Um, as I say, double checking on your buttons, they're actually doing exactly what you want them to do. It's very easy to make mistakes, as I think you'll see. Okay, so thanks a lot, and I hope that was informative. I'll see you next time.